Before our service starts properly today, I'd just like to remind you of the events of earlier this week in Beirut and the Lebanon. As international help goes to that country, uh, we in Bristol need to be aware and be prepared to pray for those people. And as we go through our service today, I'd ask you to be thinking and praying for them. And so now to our service. Good morning and welcome to our worship for St. Peter's Burstall. The Lord be with you. Our theme today is a step of faith. Of course, we don't take a collection during this service, but if you'd like to make a contribution to the maintenance, the ministry and the mission of St. Peter's Burstall, then please visit our website. That's www dot stpetersburstall.co.uk or press the learn more button at the top of the Facebook page. The music group is going to be leading our singing today so please join in with them. Jesus invites us to have faith in him even when we feel that we are overwhelmed by difficulties. When we're feeling totally out of depth he is there to help us. Let us pray. God of all power, your sovereign word comes to us in Christ. When we are in danger, make firm our trust. When your people falter, steady our faith. In Jesus, show us your power to save, that we may always proclaim him as our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, Solly is going to be reading to us from Matthew's Gospel, after which Wendy is going to be speaking to us. Jesus calls Peter to walk on water with him, but when his faith fails and he starts to sink, Jesus saves him. Our reading today is from Matthew, chapter 14, verse 22 to 33. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already in consider a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. They were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come and walk on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We can always rely on Peter to jump in with both feet, can't we, if you'll pardon the pun. Everything was fine until he took his eyes off Jesus. Does that resonate with you? It certainly does with me. Throughout my life, things have gone wrong when I haven't been looking towards Jesus for direction. But before we go any further with that, think about the conditions Peter was in and how violent the storm was, enough to make seasoned fishermen struggle to avoid being capsized. I wouldn't fancy trying to walk on water when the sea's fat calm and the sun shining 
Never mind three o'clock in the morning with a gale force wind. It's no wonder Peter dithered a bit. And he had to ask Jesus if it was really him. Nevertheless, he did choose to leave what was in effect his place of safety and security, despite the gale and there being a very good chance the boat may sink. We all have our own places of safety and security, don't we? Places that stop us from being adventurous for God. Somewhere we don't really want to give up, even if it does prevent us from joining Jesus on the water. We can be a bit like those of the disciples who stayed in the boat. Safer. They didn't want to risk failure. They much preferred to watch the ultimate adventure of faith from the sidelines. But there's a cost to being a boat potato. And the price we pay is lack of spiritual growth and intimacy with Jesus. God offers us the chance of a lifetime to use what talents we have in his service. But we can't use them sitting in a boat. I don't think any of you realise just how scary it is to stand up and preach. The reason I wear my robes is so you can't see my knees knocking. Can't see them today either. I was well and truly out of the boat when I started reader really trading. I just had to keep my focus on Jesus. There wasn't any other option. Peter knows perfectly well that he can't walk on water. But in chapter 10, Jesus gave the twelve the power to do the things he'd been doing when he sends them out. So Peter thinks, maybe when Jesus says, do what I'm doing, like healing the sick, raising the dead, cleansing lepers, casting out demons. It may just include walking on water. Um, well, I, I mean, I must say that I'm really glad in the light of all that he only asked me to do the reader's course. Amazingly, Peter sets off to walk to Jesus, taking the same walk of faith that we take when we hear his voice and decide to follow him. Like Peter, we know our world with its obsessions with money and sex and power and how difficult it is to give up bad habits and lead lives of prayer. But we are eager to do it when Jesus calls us to. Yeah, he says, to us all, I'm calling you, and you, and you. So we take all our courage, get out of the boat and set off. Oh, but then the winds get up. It's been there all the time, that wind, but we haven't noticed it because we were focused on Jesus. But suddenly, like Peter, we think, what am I doing? I must be mad. I can't do this. And we start to sink. It's the simplest of prayers that brings Jesus to help us. Help me, Lord. I'm drowning. That's a prayer I've used. Ooh. I dread to think how many times. A few months ago, during my prayer time, I wrote a poem. I'll just read you a snippet. I can walk on water if I keep but keep my eyes on you. 
It's when I take them off you that I sink. To love and follow you is all I want to do. But my sins creep up upon me when I blink. Each time that I sink, Lord, you're there to catch me. With gentle words, I'm lifted onto my feet. It's your love that moves me forward. Your love that sets me free. Your love that saves me from drowning in defeat. Every time he saves me. Once rescued, we're gently reminded by Jesus that we shouldn't have doubted. Then he climbs into the boat with us and the wind drops. So how about it? Let's all be brave, climb out of the boat and start our adventure of faith. Let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, whilst always keeping in mind the thought that Jesus loves rescuing people. It's what he came to do, isn't it? Thank you, Wendy. And now to our creed, our statement of faith. Let us affirm our faith. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days I want to praise the wonders of my My comfort, my shelter, tower let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the sea. The sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. There is none like you All of my days I want to praise The wonders of your mighty love My comfort My shelter Tower of refuge and strength Let every breath Cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at 
Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that made this heart adore you hope of a life spent with you So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to Together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon the cross. I'll never know. To say that you're my God, we're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my. Together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me.
And now to our prayers, our intercessions. I hope you'll respond as we pray. Jesus told Peter to have courage and not to doubt. Let us hear that message for ourselves and place our trust in the Lord as we pray. Father, we pray for all who are in positions of authority in the church. Guide them in their judgment and in their teaching. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those living in areas of tension and conflict. May the efforts of all men and women of goodwill prove fruitful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray that our faith may be strong in us. May we trust in Christ when difficulties come our way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our community, our nation and our world as we face the present pandemic. We give thanks for the selfless commitment of health workers and all those who keep the wheels of society turning. For those who are anxious, bring peace and hope. Help us all to be generous and caring in a needy world. May all find comfort and know the strength of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your Son to give us faith and hope. Give us courage to face life's problems. May we always have faith in the saving presence of your Son. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now to the peace. As we share the peace, I'd like you to think of those with whom you would normally share the peace and say the response to me and to them. May the peace of Christ be our guide and strength in every aspect of our lives. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you and you and you and you. One, two, three, four. Glory may not see Holy, 
so to our final prayer. Lord of all mercy, we, your faithful people, have met to celebrate your goodness. Keep us firm on the foundation of the gospel and preserve us from all evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope you'll be joining us again next week as we meet to worship together. Should you need any particular help, please contact us either phone or email, at the special email address, that's support at stpetersburstal.co.uk. And finally, of course, stay safe and a blessing. May Christ, who walked on the waters, be your salvation. May he give you light in darkness. May he always be at your side. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and all whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Be in peace. Love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. So goodbye. Until next week, and God bless you.